Alrighty guys, so today we're going to be looking at this Emerson Tactical Pen. Uh, it is a decent sized tactical pen. Let's do some size comparisons of it real quick. Actually, never mind, we're going to be doing that in a couple of seconds. Here it comes, there it is. Here's the uh, just a standard pen. Uh, it's pretty decent in size. Uh, it's comparable. comparable. And then there's an unsharpened number two pencil, a little smaller than that. And just standard paper clip, which isn't comparable at all. Um, next up, let's do some knife comparisons, even though this isn't really a knife. Um, right here we got the Kershaw Shuffle. It's actually about the same size as the Shuffle overall lengthwise. It also, um, this is a nice sized pen. Um, it's got the Boker Kalashnikov. That thing just flies out, flies open. Wonderfully, you got the lime green version of that. Next one coming up uh, is the Brass Blades T4. Huge knife, big knife. Compared to this pen, it makes the pen look small. And our Benchmade Griptilian Tanto version. Uh, it looks like we might have one more comparison the CRKT Razel. Folding Razel knife, which my review on that should already be out. Now, so interesting things about this pen coming out. There is no clip at all, uh, and it is a twist open pen. Um, of course, you twist it to open, you twist it to close it, and it, it has lanyard holes, which I thought was really interesting. Lanyard holes, speed holes, whatever you want to call them. has a glass breaker right there. If you want to be breaking glass on that end or anything, I don't know if the lanyard hole is going to get in the way, but it's whatever. Uh, it, the pen write, writes well. Uh, give it that it writes very well it's comfortable in my hand i like the design the tapered at the front tapered at the back thick middle it's great um so this pen comes in it was 30 dollars for this pen and the cqc 4k which i think is a steal awesome and right here i'm showing you how this pen has patinaed over time i carry this pen quite a bit um and then this is how to refill it uh, of course it twists right off and then there's the fisher space refills that you can stick right in there um but this pen it, i think for 30 dollars for this pen and the cqc 4k is a great deal uh don't really see a point in the lander holes but i do like the fact that this is an option i mean there's no there's no other pens out there that i'm aware of that have lanyard holes and uh i think that that's beautifully that's beautiful i mean because i know i'm not a big lanyard hold i'm not big into lanyards but i know a lot of people are and if you are big into lanyards and you want to put a lanyard on your pen, it's kind of hard to do that with a normal pen. But this pen is perfectly fine. Um, I mean, other than that, I think this pen is just a beautiful pen. Uh, the, the whole clip thing really bothers me. I like to carry things with clips, and this doesn't have one. But, you know, I guess I'll just have to get... I got used to it, and I guess we're going to just have to... If you buy it, get used to it without a clip. So... Alright guys, well thank you for stopping and watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.